was use the bootstrap media component uh, to make up our blog feed so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head over to the docs and um, just copy and paste that section because let's see this right here just copy that and then um, switch back over here and what I'll do is I think I can go ahead and just delete all that stuff paste that right in there make sure to have it within the uh, the while loop um, let's see you can delete the data source all of that and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put um, place hold it so I'll put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash place hold dot IT forward slash uh, 64 by 64 just for now and then uh, I don't want a nested object so I'll take that out and here instead of just putting media heading I'm gonna put PHP the title and then here instead of just dotted lines for PHP content that should be good and what I'll actually do is um, I'm just gonna cut this out for a second with command X or control X and I'm gonna open up an anchor tag and what I want to put here in the link is oops, um, the permalink and what that is is it's gonna link to the, uh, the post page and so within the, the anchor tag, I'll just paste in the title. And then lastly, I'll put uh, another. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'll put the same thing because I want like a read more button. So I'll copy that there and paste it. And then, oh, I need to give it a class equal to. BTN, BTN dash mini, and then I'm using the Bootstrap styles, by the way. So if you're just here to learn about blogs and WordPress, I've been doing the entire series using Bootstrap, just so I don't uh, spend too much time on uh, CSS and stuff like that. I'll use the info button, and then down here I'll just put read more, and let me go ahead and save it for now, so we can check it out. And, uh, I'll refresh. So it changed up a little bit. I have our read more and our title are now linked to these posts. And um, we have just a placeholder for our thumbnail images. So why don't I click on uh, I like this one? I think this one has the comments that we did. Yeah. And now you can see the uh, the permalink read more button linked us to the page. And um, see when we edit our post we do have a featured image so why don't I remove this and let's see if I can set it I'll set it to one of these it's a cool volcano and then I'll up, update it and what I want to do is I'll go back to the blog and then I'll go back to the code and instead of the source right here being um, Actually, never mind. I'll just take that entire image out and I'm going to put the thumbnail or the post thumbnail, sorry. And um, I'll delete all this for now. I don't need it. Semicolon, then I'll save it and switch back when I refresh or not. When I refresh, um, got some issues here and what we'll do in the next video is make sure that we uh, we format these the right way and also we'll figure out why this one came back so large anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video